Waiters and waitresses of Reddit, what is the most awkward couple date you've witnessed at work? Story 1. They sat down and, from the girl's body language, you could tell she was into him. As the date progressed, she closed off, then sat pretty much sideways, and after that, was playing on her phone. The body language shift occurred over maybe one and a half hours. He didn't stop talking the entire time. She did give some nods and uh ahas in response and even perked up a few times to contribute, but his monologue never stopped. We now have a Discord. Check out the server in the link in the description. Story 2. I worked at an ice cream parlor. Kinda old-timey, not much seating. Anyway, guy comes in with a girl. They pay for their own cones and take a seat at two of the seven stools. Dude is talking and girl is laughing and into it. Two hours later, dude is still talking and the girl looks like she wants to cry or punch him in the face. They withstood the gale force trauma of at least seven families with screaming kids, adults who just love that these tiny places exist, and several rounds of me sweeping around their feet and pointedly scrubbing the counter around them. The guy never asked her a question. Never let her say more than a few words before he stomped out her rude interruptions. I was all, hey guys, we close soon, I hope you have a nice day, but uh, I need to mop. We still had a few hours, but like, yeah, I wasn't gonna listen to that. Watched them walk down the street and he was still talking. Like, come on, get a room with yourself, dude. You are obviously the man of your dreams. Honestly, yeah, it's not hard. Just be as interested in the other person as you are in yourself, and it'll go great, trust me. Story 3. I don't know if this really counts because I think they were married. At a table with two children crying. How are you doing tonight? What can I get you started with to drink? The father says, Do you have a shotgun back there so I can blow my head off? The wife's glare at him was the scariest thing I've ever seen. Honestly, I just hope that man is still alive. Story 4. I've told this one here before. I worked in a resort hotel, high end. I waited tables in the fine dining restaurant. It was pretty common for people to propose there. So much so that I had a system for the whole thing. One guy came in and wanted to do the ring in the champagne thing, and I talked him into doing a dessert alternative that doesn't result in a sticky ring and champagne on the floor. Anyway, long story short, I bring the ring. She says, Damn it, I've told you before, I'm not marrying you. He flips, and she's super calm about it, and basically treats him like a child having a tantrum, which, to his credit, he wasn't screaming or anything, just very upset. He left. She ate the frickin' dessert. Eventually, he came back and paid and they left together. Yeah, super awkward. Story 5. I guess you could call this a couple date. I was working at a wine bar when a married couple sat down on a pretty slow night. I went over the specials and they ordered. Once appetizers came out, the man thought it would be a good idea to serve his wife divorce papers. I did my best to avoid that side of the bar. I did bring out tissues for the wife who was breaking down. I ended up boxing up the dinner. The guy paid, but I do not envy that ride home. Story 6. I work at a dinner theater, and we usually do proposals where we set up a random draw where the winner comes up on stage to win their prize and then are surprised by their partner who proposes. It's usually sweet and makes everyone in the room all fuzzy and warm. This one guy wanted to take it a step further and requested to perform a song. He brought his own music and everything. We're pretty easy going at this job, so we let him do it. We do the fake draw, the woman comes up on stage in front of a room of like 400 people, and the music starts to play. Apparently this guy was a little nervous, and so he compensated by having a few drinks. So what follows is a slurred performance of a song written by this guy. But the song seemed focused on how he was sorry for cheating on this woman with her sister. And at the end of it, he gets down on one knee and proposes. Usually, this gets a round of applause encouraging the person to say yes, but not after that train wreck. The poor woman was just holding her face the entire time and starts shaking her head and says, No, what's wrong with you? She storms off and leaves him and our stage manager on stage to a bunch of murmuring from the audience. The only thing the stage manager can think to say on the mic is, well, that's that. The guy ended up staying for the rest of the show and had many more drinks. That was years ago and remains to this day as the cringiest thing I've ever seen. Story 7. There's a habit of some older couples where the elderly gentleman will order on behalf of his wife. I guess it might have been cute and romantic once, but it doesn't work with some younger couples. I was serving a younger couple, early 20s, who seemed pretty early into the relationship. They were ordering drinks and he orders her drink for her. Far from being dazzled by him knowing what she wanted, she didn't want any of it. 
Well, actually, I'd like a latte, not a Coke, but fine, whatever, I don't get a say. He responded quite angrily with, oh, sorry, have what you want then. She got her latte and he glared at me. They ate and left. Not been in here since. I'm sure they're doing well. Story 8. A guy proposed to his girlfriend at the booth across my friends and me at Olive Garden. When he got down on one knee and opened the box, she was shaking her head and then just stared silently. It must have been a whole 30 seconds of pure silence, but it felt like an eternity. Then the guy proceeded to describe the ring, how much it cost, the different aspects of it, etc. Finally, the girl just went, no. And the guy just sat back down and they tried to finish their dinner. I caught eyes with our server and he made the most perfect, holy hell, that was bad, face. Jeez, that was awkward. Story 9. Bartender at the time, not a waiter, but they were right in front of the bar. Attractive woman comes in with a very loud dude who never took off his rollerblades. Mostly just bragged. He clearly thought he sounded humble, though. Loud enough for me to hear in a bar for about an hour, thanks her, and leaves. He thought it was a date. Apparently, she was doing sociology research on people who use Tinder. I was relieved. I really hope this dude is full on, like... Ah, sorry, baby, the rollerblades stay on in the bedroom. I just get that vibe. Story 10. Really little guy, maybe 5 foot 4, 120 pounds, comes in with a gigantic woman, probably 6 feet tall and 300 pounds. Both completely tatted up with piercings to match. The woman orders her dish and before I get the guy's order, he says in a sexy voice, I think you want more than that. She smirks at him and says, you know I do, and orders three more entrees. This was clearly a thing for them. They seemed incredibly happy together and became regulars at my restaurant. I feel like I played a not insignificant role in this bizarre couple's eating kink for like three years. Story 11. Served a deaf couple having a fight. They went from both of them signing furiously to her crying and signaling to me for a stack of napkins for, I assumed, her tears. She whips out a pen and starts writing paragraph after paragraph angrily. It was awkward because I kept having to come back to the table since they ordered multiple courses. And he was just eating and signing while she was hunched over the table writing away while crying. When they finally did leave, they tipped me pretty well though. So I guess it wasn't too bad. Story 12. Was a cocktail waitress at a bar in a high-end restaurant a couple years ago. This couple comes in right around peak hours. Guy looks annoyed. Girl looks really excited. The whole time the girl is trying to talk to this guy and he's completely ignoring her. He gets a call and talks on the phone for a good 10 minutes. Hangs up and starts talking to anyone around him but her. He's getting more and more drunk and starts hitting on the female bartender and eventually the cocktail waitresses, myself included, telling us he could get us all much better jobs in Atlanta. The girl he's on a date with has started crying at this point and once he actually notices, he yells at the bartender because it was obviously the restaurant's fault for her being upset. She yells at him to stop yelling at the bartender because he's been such an awful date. And he goes off. Tells her that, oh, he didn't even want to eat here. Oh, she should have picked a better place and he isn't paying for her food and drinks. He then tells her that she didn't look fat in her picture and he wouldn't have asked her out if he'd known she was that big. Probably met online kind of thing. She retreats to the bathroom and the guy continues to make a scene. Another girl at the bar and I go to check on her while the bartenders and manager try to deal with him. The girl is super upset and I tell her there's a back door she can leave through and I can get her tab from the bartender. I go back out and the guy had already stormed out and refused to pay, leaving his date with a nearly $200 check. Hmm. She didn't have the money to pay, so a couple of the bar regulars covered it. Made the whole night super awkward and stressful. Definitely one of the more memorable experiences of that place. Look, I get that the guy felt deceived or whatever that she didn't look like her picture. Happens all the time. He could have just been more upfront about it instead of waiting until she drank a lot or whatever and then told her that she would be stuck with the bill. I'm probably mostly feeling this way though because he was just a complete jerk. And that takes big points away from him in my books. Story 13. One of my first jobs in New York was managing a lounge slash cocktail bar in a high-end hotel. At around 3 or 4 o'clock, a guy that looked pretty cheesy, slicked back hair, bad suit, etc., came up to me and demanded that he get that window table tonight for his date. He had a reservation for 8 p.m. I explained to him that I can't guarantee it, and he slipped me $400 with the how about now look, which I eventually caved to and told him that I'd take care of it. He then pulled out another stack of hundreds and started counting them in front of me while asking if I could go a little extra by coming over to the table when he was there with the date and pretend 
pretend that I knew him from a movie. At this point, I've gone this far, why not? Sure enough, he rolled around later in the evening with a blonde bimbo, and after they'd had a glass of champagne, I approached the tables around them, checked on how they were doing before going over to him. And then I did the whole, how are you enjoying your evening? And before walking off, I did an Oscar-worthy double take with a, uh, are you by any chance? You must be. At which point, he had this kind of D-bag smile, lapping up the recognition that he was getting from this young dude he'd just paid off. Most importantly for him, though, it worked. She was loving it, and they left shortly after, and he slipped me another $600 on the way out. Story 14. Not technically a waiter, but I worked at McDonald's, one of the thankfully less trashy ones, and a couple came in. Woman sat down, and the man tried to order. There was a lot of umming and eyeing at what they wanted to buy. He ordered two meals that we gave to him, and he went to sit down. What followed was a 10-minute shouting match about how he wouldn't even take her on a proper date, and how he screwed up even a McDonald's date. I guess he ordered the wrong thing. So this is just like the reverse of the ordering the drinks one from like a little while back. I guess it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. It's rough out there, guys. Story 15. Bartending a day shift at an upscale Italian place in a high-end shopping center over the Christmas season. Couple comes in, starts drinking, and is very flirty. They clearly liked the attention. I wasn't quite sure why the man seemed familiar, but he had a face that I knew from somewhere. Midway through their lunch, the woman used his name, and it dawned on me that the man was the husband of my previous boss. I told him he looked familiar and asked if he was Mark from that restaurant on the way to the beach. He said that he was not, but the woman he was with was insistent on making it awkward and peppered me with questions. Like, I've heard that the owner of that place is crazy, did you know her? She was backhandedly trash-talking Mark's wife and the whole thing was so uncomfortable. He was an all-around bad dude though, so he deserved it. For additional context, his family had owned that restaurant on the way to the beach, and his wife, my former boss, ran the place until she caught him cheating. They divorced, she got the restaurant and continued to run it with her sister. Fast forward a few years and the two eventually remarry. It was during their second marriage that he turned up at my bar with his mistress. Story 16. When I was waitressing in college, I witnessed the single most embarrassing thing to happen to a person to date. Right in the middle of their dinner and in the middle of our Friday night dinner rush, this poor guy stands up, taps his wine glass to get everyone's attention, and then proceeds to tell everyone what a fantastic person his girlfriend is, like how much he loves her and how lucky he is to have her in his life. The whole time this is happening, she is just sitting there watching him with the most bored look on her face. It was so weird. Kind of like a, yeah, tell me something I don't know. Then the poor guy pulls out a ring, gets on one knee, and asks her to marry him. She gives him the most disgusted look imaginable and says, This is the ring you expect me to say yes to? Are you stupid? Could you be any cheaper? Then she gets up and walks out leaving the poor guy just kneeling there. I didn't charge him for the meal. Story 17. So I'm not 100% certain, but one time I think someone went to the chain I worked at to meet their mail order brides. It could have been prostitutes looking back on it, but I thought this at the time. It was two guys in suits that came in seeming really nervous. One comes up to me and lets me know what the girl looks like in case she's confused when she comes in. I'd never gotten a heads up like this before and he seemed super nervous slash sketched out. So the women come in and they don't speak very good English and have heavy accents, which stood out in the small neighborhood. They were dressed very minimally for it being so cold and rainy outside. I point them out to the table with the two men and they're introducing themselves like it's the first time they've met with awkward hugs and asking about flights. I got to overhear some of the stilted conversation and talk of money while passing by. The other time was when an ex of mine came in with his girlfriend and she left crying for some reason halfway through. Apparently he brought up that we dated and he kept looking at me, which somehow caused that whole scene. Story 18. I was at one of those fancy speakeasy type bars they've started opening up, installing a new invoice printer for their point of sale system. Waiting for the printer firmware and driver to install can take like half an hour to 40 minutes on slower computers, so I'm people watching. As I'm standing there watching bars fill up, I notice a gorgeous blonde in her late 20s is sitting with a very well manicured looking guy in his mid 40s. He's dressed like he just left a high dollar law firm, and she looks like she's going to a fancy professional cocktail party after their date. He is polite, talkative, and super into her, but you can tell that she isn't reciprocating. To be honest, by the look on her face, she's anywhere but in that bar at the moment. 
The guy goes to the bathroom and she quickly picks up her phone and frantically calls someone and begs for pickup ASAP. The gist of the call was the guy was her mother's co-worker and her mother had set up the date and our girl was not feeling it. About 15 minutes later, a guy around her age comes in, throws some cash on the table and excuses them. She cites some vague emergency and is escorted out. The older guy continues drinking, $140 tab, note that I'm standing at their main cash register, and starts flirting with the waitress, fails to get her number, pays an exact change without tipping, and leaves. Story 19. This wasn't a romantic couple, but it was a father and his daughter. I thought everything was going fine, but I could tell that I was intruding during times that they wanted to be alone, so I tried to adapt and stay out of their way. I don't know what happened, but suddenly the daughter begins to cry, and I had no idea until I approached and asked how everything was. Immediately, he looked annoyed, which was understandable, and I just left and didn't talk to them for the remainder of their meal, including when I dropped off their food and got them the check. She cried the whole meal, and it was a very emotional scene, and I'm not entirely sure what had happened except maybe a divorce or death in the family. Story 20. Eastern European couple walks in. She looked like she had been crying, but they ordered and seemed nice enough. A few minutes later, I heard a commotion going on in my section. I got there in time to see this man reach over and slap the woman hard enough that the whole lounge heard the sound. He looked like he was gearing up to hit her again, so I instinctively stepped in. I was and am a small petite woman with no martial arts training or anything, and I told him to back off and leave or the cops would be walking him out. Surprisingly, he just left without a fight. What was disturbing is that the woman very quickly composed herself and by the time I went over to check on her, seconds later, she was brushing it off like it was an everyday event. I guess it was for her. I told her I would feel better if she stayed in the lounge for a bit so we could be sure the man was gone. She agreed and I got her a few drinks on the house. Once she was a little more opened up from the drinks, she told me her story about how this man brought her to the US and that she was afraid if she left him, she would end up being forced to go back home. She also warned me never to date an Eastern European man and that most of them were like that. I wanted to take her to the police or to a woman's shelter, but she refused and wandered out into the night. I never saw her again, but I hope she's okay and stayed away from that man. Story 21. Not a waiter, but I was working as a supervisor in a restaurant, and there was a drama that lasted for a couple of months. There was a couple that came into lunch every day, and every day they went to the toilet together for like 20 to 30 minutes. So yeah, you can guess what they were doing. It was inappropriate, but there was nothing we could do with that. But one day she came into the restaurant with another man, and he was her husband. That was a pretty awkward moment. So she started to come to the restaurant with her husband on weekends. But one day, as usual, she came to us with her lover. They were arguing and, as I've understood, they broke up. She was crying and so on. After that fight, I've never seen any of them. That is a bold move bringing the person you're having an affair with to the same restaurant that you then bring your spouse to. Why would you do that? That's such a bad idea. Why would you do that? Story 22. Couple came into the restaurant dressed very goth. I wasn't their server, but I was running the cash register just a few feet away. They proclaimed to everyone that they were energy vampires, but not to fear them because they wouldn't hurt us. They said they didn't need our food for sustenance, but enjoyed the taste. After ordering the meal, they then politely asked the waitress if she would stick around for a second so they could feed off of her aura so they could have enough energy for the night. The waitress said okay and gave me a side glance over her shoulder that I knew meant I better get a good tip for this. The couple clasped each other's hands, closed their eyes, and made sucking sounds for a solid minute before leaning back in the seats and sighing as if they just had a turkey dinner. The waitress was indeed tipped well for her delicious energy. Story 23. I'm a bartender and I've seen a bad date go down. The girl seemed familiar to me and she kept glancing over at me every now and again, and then the guy started looking over at me too. Even when she was up ordering drinks, she was glancing at me and my coworker noticed. Turned out she was a friend from years ago who just ghosted our friend group. The couple had no chemistry at all. There were little conversations and at a few points both were on their phones at the same time. Eventually, the guy leaves and the girl's left there alone for 20 minutes, so she pulls out her laptop and begins to work on Photoshop for a good half hour before leaving. Story 24. Had a few breakups occur. Those are super awkward. The guy bringing the girl to a public place so she won't cause a scene happens quite often. This one time, a guy did this with his girlfriend at lunch. She then starts bawling, and I mean wailing, and everyone around is looking in their direction at this point. She then quickly resorts to anger and then starts 
starts yelling at him, telling him to have a great life, you freaking loser, and whatnot, and then proceeds to get out of the booth. And her foot got tangled in her long purse strap, and she falls and slams her head on the back of the booth corner and falls on the floor. She is now really wailing at this point, since 20 people in the restaurant watched her do this, and she ends up running out the front door. My coworker goes over to the dude and is like, uh, do you want the check? Since they already ordered, the guy was like, nah, bring me my food and just box hers up for me. May as well have some lunch. He just sat there and ate, and didn't seem too bothered at all about what happened. Just a weird situation. You never know how someone is going to react to a breakup in public. This sounds like a full-on slapstick routine. But really, this guy definitely has experience with this. This is not his first rodeo dumping someone in a restaurant. And you know what? If I got a guess, it won't be his last.